Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marty, and welcome to Cockadoodle Farm. So man, I feel like it's that time of year where there's just so much to do and so little time. But in today's video, um, we finally got that egg washer. So I'm gonna walk you through like how that's all set up and how that's all going, which it is a total game changer for us. Um, Mary Kate's been out planting and trying to get the tiller to work. Um, and I also wanna talk about our next biggest challenge as we start to try to create this online marketplace for local food. But first, we have a thousand of our hens over at Josh's farm. And now since the grass is starting to grow, we can finally move them off into the fresh pasture. So let's go do that. You good girl? Wait, wait, how are you feeling about this? Not good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, just leave it right here, you think? I think so, and then tomorrow, or, or in a couple days or something, I'll try to move it more. All right, guys, time to move. Come on, go to the green. Come on, come on, sorry, sorry. Go to the green grass, off we go. Off we go, come on. Come on, guys, come on. Last year, uh, we had a fire in our barn, and my favorite tool, my tiller, was in there. And it has worked since then, but we ordered a bunch of parts from John Deere, and I just discovered what this one is for because it's leaking all of my gear oil. So today, I'm gonna try to get this tiller working so that I can get my field tilled and get a bunch of flowers planted. Wish me luck. The moment we've been waiting for. Look at that. That broke it. Look at that. So I am driving up to Mantino for to the AHW John Deere place. I gave him a call about my broken chain and um, I asked him if they had it in stock and he said, lady, I got chain all day. So I won't be leaving without chain. So I'm heading to Mantino to get my chain. Need a nut and a bolt. Not the, this is a nut and this is a bolt. Done. And with that, the egg washer finally arrived. Besides the front. Uh, please, please turn it on. 
this light strip. This will turn on your blowers. And it hooks onto the outlet here. That is your other lead. These are the guards. If you put them in wrong, it will throw the eggs right off the line. Take these retainers out. Take that out. Sure, it's seated. Good. You don't want no flopping. You want to keep it at right about between 8 and 10. Make sure your gauge stays at 100. This is where you'll change the speed of the machine. Right here is where the water pumps in. Do not let the bucket run dry. That'll blow this pump up. Okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's all there is to that. Um, now I just had to figure out how to get electric to, to it. And once I did that, So yeah, about half of the things seemed to work. So I had to diagnose what was going on, try to figure out how to fix it. And eventually I got it working. Now I need to figure out how to get water to it. You know, for the longest time, we had more customers or potential customers than we did eggs. Now we have the opposite problem. We have more eggs than we do customers. Which brings us to our next business challenge. How do we efficiently and intentionally scale our customer base? And so far, we've tried a few different things. We got these door hangers to leave at homes and neighborhoods that we were already delivering to. Which had a decent response. It has some signs of life anyways. We've been doing some community events and we got this ridiculous chicken costume, which is also hilarious. And we started vendoring at our first farmer's market. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Come and visit us at the farmer's market today. It's a beautiful sunny day. And we tried also doing some direct mail, which didn't quite get the response that we were hoping for. So, you know, one thing that I've learned about myself over the years is that I'm not necessarily a very good marketer. Um, and I've never built a direct consumer type business before. So this is all very new to me and we're out looking for people to help us with that. So if you do know of anybody that is in that world that might be able to help us, let us know. But thanks for watching today, guys. If you'd like to follow along with our adventures here on the farm, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.